What is going on guys, today we are looking at the new player of the month, Goretzka, coming up next. Also, link in the description and on the video for the player of the month, Rashford Review. <laughs> So today we are looking at the player of the month, Goretzka. It is not Royce this month, but it is Goretzka, another Bayern player. Um, actually, I don't think there has been a Bayern player. I've been, it's Royce and Sancho, both for BVB. So the first Bayern player, in fact, it is going to cost you looking at the SBC at this moment in time. It's brand new. So 500k on the Xbox and then 490 on the PlayStation. And you get one rare gold pack, one premium uh, jumbo premium gold pack a rare rare players pack and a rare mega pack so that's around about 55 100 uh, 125 around about 130 150k worth of packs back so to be honest you're looking at still a very hefty price especially right at this moment in time seeing as though he's only just come out player of the month's come out randomly in my opinion but uh yeah you're gonna look at pretty much a very very high value for an 87 rated version of this Goretzka but the the start of this card is incredible he's gone from an 83 rated gold player at the very start of FIFA he was going for around about 100k um, now obviously he's going for a little bit cheaper uh, but he managed to get an 84 UCL an 85 one to watch an 85 in form and then he also got this 87 player of the month so he's gone up quite a lot and his stats in this are are very very nice so looking at some basic information for him he's got the three star skiller with a four star weak foot he is right footed standing at six foot two with a high defensive and high attacking work rate his total in game stats are 2367 and his base stats is 501 so you can already tell that this card's got a very well balanced card and i have done the inform review um also will be linked at the end um in case you want to see what the difference is um and i must admit i'll take the criticism on this i've used the inform as a cam and i must admit i've used this as a center mid and he was loads better i thought he was a very very uh unique and in and, and great card to play with so going into some stats he's got 87 pace which again is really nice for a center mid 88 acceleration with 87 sprint speed he's got a very average shooting and defending at 81 and 82 um some of the standout stats from that is 84 positioning 84 shot power, 85 long shots, 88 interceptions, 84 standing tackle, and 83 sliding tackle. So again, he's very much that balanced CM that you don't really find as much in the game. But he also does have a great pass on him with 88 vision, 80 crossing and free kick accuracy, 90 short pass with 84 long pass, and 81 curve. Um, another some standout stats in his dribbling. He's got 87 ball, uh, ball control and reactions with an 85 dribble and 83 composure. And to finally kick it off, he's got 90 stamina with 84 aggression. So that stamina is very important for this card for me especially using uh, him as a centre mid. He's going to be up and down with that high attacking and high uh, defensive work rate. I think the 90 stamina makes this card even more valuable. And to be honest, the price tag I think is justified. I've played a few matches with him in foot champs and I've highlighted some of the key areas in this, uh, in, the, in the, I think it's the second or third game that I played with him. Um, and I thought he was absolutely outstanding. When it came to uh, closing the ball down, I thought he did that wonderfully. He was great at opening the options as well. Um, he mainly linked up with Rashford on that left hand side for me and I just thought he, he played he's such a key pl uh, player, playmaker I um, used him instead of I uh, kind of like linked him in instead of having the Kante there um, and I can't remember who I changed at the left and centre back but I thought he was absolutely incredible in that centre mid role. He didn't necessarily score or assist a lot, but the build-up play and then breaking down the defensive, uh, well, their attacking play, so his defensive duties, I thought he did it with minimal effort. I really thought this card wouldn't be as good as it was. Um, obviously, it's gone up a two rating since the inform, and I think I enjoyed the inform. I didn't think he was quite there, but this card most definitely is there. He's... I think, what, how, how long has he got now? I think it's out for quite a while, like a good 20 days or so, um, as it's literally only just come out. So everyone's got plenty of chance to do this. Um, obviously, we've got the hype of the pr uh, the prime moments coming up, but I, I definitely think if this card drops a, uh, in value a little bit more, I'd be definitely 
open to try it. I think he's a, a very, very good card. Um, if you need that centre mid, especially with his height as well, he doesn't look that tall. But in the game, six foot two is massive for a centre mid, and I thought he plays it really well. So overall rating him, I'm giving him a 8.8. I thought he was fantastic. Hands down, a really good centre mid, um, and he linked up with Pogba very, very well in that midfield. So enjoyed the card incredibly um obviously if you want to get the loan card like me 82 rated squad it'll cost you around about 10 to 15k and you'll be able to use him for all foot champs long uh, foot champs long and i don't think you'll regret it so hopefully you enjoyed this video let me know down below um also there's been a poll before as you've seen in the information i've started to do this on the videos um just to kind of gauge a bit of interest with you um let me know down below what you think and did you like this who else do you want to see and we'll crack on to them prime moments so I'll see you all again next time.